and blessings and love and light. I don't know if I got enough light over here. Oh. <laughs> Move this out the way. So I just want to talk about complaining. Some of us, you know, we do it from time to time. Complaining, and that's normal. But complaining doesn't do any good for you anyway, because it's negative. And this is a saying that my mom always said, if you're complaining about it, but you're not doing nothing about, about it to change the circumstances, then shut the fuck up. And that goes with anything you go with doing. So like I said, you have people who may complain from time to time. Well, that's okay. But when you are complaining every day, all day long, that becomes a problem, and that irritates the kudos out of me. First of all, if you can't control it, there's some things that happen in our lives that we have no control over. If it's outside of us and we can't not control the situation, let it go and move forward. Because complaining about something you have no control over is useless. But then all things that you are complaining about that's probably a di direct uh, result of something you might have did. That's why we have to be careful about the uh, seeds be sold because we will always get benefits whether negative or positive. So if things are going on in your life and you're complaining about it and you can control it, then that's your fault. But complaining every day, all day long, takes a toll not on on you, but the person who got to sit up there, sitting up there listening to it on a regular basis. It's affecting them too. So I came across an article. You know, I like to read, and I will go search. So this article is coming from n1psychology.com. Complaining is bad for your brain. Did you know that complaining is rewiring your brain and damaging your health? Complaining is referred to as an expression, discontent, or resentment. While we may think we are just venting, because some people want to use the word venting, and in reality, complaining has significant impacts on our brains and happiness. It's really no positive benefit by sitting around all day for 20, 30, 45 minutes or every chance you get to complain about what's going on in your life and what people did to you, but you not trying to change any of your situations. We all complain. The average person complains anywhere between 15 and 30 times a day. If you ask yourself how many times you complain today, it probably ain't normal. I complain today on my way home complaining about a, a, a person um, and their behavior. So, yes, I did complain. I was complaining to myself, so I was just talking out loud, but I, it was, I wasn't complaining to other people. So, <clears throat> we don't generally complain to torture others with negativity. Rather, by getting our emotions out, we justify that we feel better. But you actually don't feel better. However, there are shocking flaws in this reasoning. Not only does complaining tend to not make us feel better, like I just said, but also it catches on and makes our listeners feel worse. It's, 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 tired. it's very, very tiresome when you are in the presence of someone and... They on this roller coaster of complaining about everything they have experienced, and not even in the present. They yes, hours ago, yesterday, two months ago, years ago, just complaining, complaining, complaining. But they're saying they're venting. It's not venting, and you're not doing nothing but hurting yourself as the person who's listening to it. Complaining is bad for our mood, and that is true. Because the whole time I'm sitting and listening to this person, I'm like, I gotta go home. I got to go home. This is not good for me. It's making me irritable, and I'm starting to get upset. <coughs> Excuse me. I was ready to go. So, yeah, complaining, complaining is bad for our mood and the mood of those around us that's listening to it. But that's not all that's wrong with complaining. It also is bad for your brain and your health. 